Louisiana Beer Review's Innocent Gun Rum Aged Beer. Oak Aged Beer. This ruby red beer has been aged with rum oak chips, resulting in a brew of delicious warming character. Serve 4 to 6 degrees Celsius. It won a gold, Grand Gold at Mondi Selection 2012. Product of Scotland. 6.8% uh, alcohol, 11.2 ounce bottle, 330 milliliter bottle. Hear sirens, of course. Um, Approved by Lynn Crawford, Sinclair, and Master Brewer is Douglas Gunn. Is it senior or something? Carefully matured for 57 days prior to release. I'm looking for a date, guys. Um, oh, here we go. Best before something March 2018. 79th day of 2017 at 20 hours and 32 minutes. Okay, good. It's got the date, guys. Um, I bought this, like I said, a Martin Wine Cellar. It was not expensive. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere else, but there's a lot of places I could go to. Oh, a lot of smoke. I don't go everywhere. Okay. Interestingly, there's nothing about this beer on their website. Nothing. I checked all the different areas. It's like they don't make it anymore. Uh... On Beer Advocates, gets a 76 out of 100. Not too great. Rape, Rapier hates it. They're giving it a 64 out of 100 and a 76 out of 100 in the style. So, video reviews, I'm sure there's a lot. I intend to watch them. I haven't checked any out. I haven't even tried to look them up yet, but I know there's got to be a lot. It's brown. They're saying ruby, but it's more like chestnut brown from what I'm seeing. It's very cloudy outside, but still, there's enough light to see it's chestnut. Okay. I see some... Ascending bubbles, and it's uh, clear. I mean, you can make it through the darkness, but it's not hazy. There may be some haze in the if, after I do the swish and pour. Ivory colored head, and people will ask me from time to time, "What do you think about rum?" I think it must be very popular. It's probably very good. I've never tried rum to my knowledge. Just never had it, so I guess I'd probably like it. Here we go. It smells a little woody, a little malty, sweet. It doesn't have a whole lot of aroma. Get away from that dish that I have out. Not too aromatic. Let's go with the flavor. You pick it up in the taste. The rum barrel. Now you're saying, how can you tell it's rum? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, liquor has a flavor like a liquor, a sweet, sugary liquor. Barrels, the, you get that woody barrel, liquor barrel taste. Although it's chips, not barrels. It's not barrel aged. Um, mouth feels medium, really light to medium. It's not a heavy beer. And interestingly, a mostly dry finish. Good sheet lacing around the glass. 76 out of 100? 64 out of 100? I don't know, I think that's too low. Now you say, yeah, but compared to all the other barrel aged, it's poor. Now that could be true because, you know, there's a lot of them out there, but I've, I've never had all of them, so I can only rate this on its own merits, right? Like it. Like I say, I rate beers like a test paper when I was teaching school, you know. You have a grade, letter grade, so. Caramels, barley malt, sweetness, bitterness is not really much of a factor here, honestly. It's so round in that sense that, yeah, okay, there's a little bitterness to um, balance it out at the end. So I'm figuring the IBUs must be around 20-something, mm, 22, 24. I don't know. 
they don't say. Um, it's enjoyable. It does remind me a little bit of the Bush Signature Copper Lager, which was 5.7%. Just what it reminds me of. Um, or even the Amberbach or Ziegenbach, Michelob Amberbach or the Ziegenbach. It kind of has those characteristics and those are not made with any uh, chips, you know, like rum aged chips, but some under, fla under flavors here have that, are reminiscent of that. Same thing with music, people will post stuff on uh, Rock and Roll Club and I'll say, I've never heard that before, but um, it sounds like something, I said that the other day, it sounds like scorpions, scorpions, and somebody said, I can see that, I can see that, okay, so, um, Think about Amberbach or, or Ziegenbach or even more so, which you can't get it anymore, the Bush Signature Copper Lager with some rum, liquor, wood thing going on. And I think that's pretty much what it is. Uh, I would say it's probably in the A-minus area, like a lower end of excellent, much above just average or good, very good. So yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an excellent product. I would recommend getting it. I think it was $2.49 for the bottle. So for a specialty, one-time beverage to try, I would recommend it, like I just said. Here is um, Butterfield Farms Diced Ham Water Added. Chunked and ground smoked flavor added. Oh, boy. Fully cooked. Uh, product of Georgia, I think, USA. Oh, I'm sorry, Mankato, Minnesota. Tony Downs Foods. There's a lot more stuff in here than the Hormel. The uh, Hormel um, Spam has five ingredients, ham, water, salt, sodium, what is it, nitrite, and spices. This one has ham, water, salt, sugar, sodium, phosphate, sodium, erythorbate, natural smoke flavor, and sodium nitrite. Um, it was inexpensive at Walmart, I think it was a dollar. It's really not that terrific. You can see a lot of the gelatin from the fat, whatever, here. Um, when I said Georgia, I was thinking of Kreider Foods. It just has a salty ham flavor. It's not bad. But for instance, Underwood deviled ham would be a lot better. But on the saltines with the Louisiana brand hot sauce, it's fine. But that would be more like, kind of like average. Whereas this is far above average. This is excellent. So anyway, Laissez-les Bon Ton Relay. Uh, an excellent product from Scotland, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.